I think I think I think fame in itself it can't it can't help but make you mainstream. Um, I think I wish we'd been cleverer because we didn't realise what we were you know we didn't see the potential in the business side of it. So all we were doing was living it, and there's all these other businessmen going, great idea, <laughs> <laughs> and rubbing their hands, you know, and made millions out of it. Um, we were all living it and going broke doing it. But uh, I wouldn't change it. But then again, if, if you've been being a bit more business, you wouldn't have produced such good music. No, no. Um, no, I wouldn't change one bit of it. And I think, to, to the credit of, of, of uh, the Who, we've kind of stayed true to our values. You know, we haven't changed. And the music stands up as well today as it did back then. Which, it, 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 it's always... It's always... Um, puzzled me what, where it, what made it so different. Our music was so different. When you listen to the Beatles and the Stones, you can, you can hear their influences and you can hear... Beatles was very different at first too, uh, and, and indeed all the way through really. But the Stones, you can hear the Chuck Berry and you can hear the, the blues influence in there. But then the Who start up and it's, where the bloody hell did that come from? And it is so strange and it is so British. Plus the fact that, that Townsend wrote songs, I mean, that, that I think one of the, the, the best albums ever written uh, was Quadrophenia, which, which is about, really about this period of, of, of 64, 65, pre the summer of love, but the summer of extreme violence on the coast of, <laughs> of southern, southern Britain, uh, of all this fashion thing. Um, and if ever there w was an articulate way of putting it into an art form, quadrophenia is it. It's amazing. Um, and that stands up today every bit, probably stronger today. And mainly because the adolescent dilemma doesn't change. Yeah, it, it, it's it's timeless, completely timeless. And that was Townsend's genius to recognise that. I think for the last part of the 20th century, that's one of the most important bits of work because it's more than just entertainment and it's more than just stringing clever lyrics together. There's a real spiritual center to it in a journey that is in, in, in a lot of ways very spiteful. <laughs> you know, it's kind of, woo, it's a weird one. Every day is sun.